But now, here we see the same Paul in Romans 13 saying, put off the flesh and the works of the flesh, the wickedness, and put on the armor of light. And verse 14, he says, put on Christ. So the armor of God and the armor of light is Jesus Christ who says, I am the light of the world. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Light is very critical. It was the first miracle in Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. Let there be light. So it's very important for us to walk in the light. We'll come to that more profoundly next Sunday. What is this cast off the works of darkness? I want to bring four uh, items that I have collected that concern and are works of darkness. The first one I want us to see is idols. God has pronounced himself that there is no other God but him and we shall have no other gods or worship any other gods but him. And we saw the other day that God is a jealous God. We must give him all the worship. Amen. Amen. Look at Genesis chapter 31 and verse 19. Genesis 31 and verse 19. We see that Jacob is in love with a girl called Rachel. And he loves Rachel so much, he works, he's even willing to work 14 years for her to become his wife. And there was something about Rachel. Rachel could not get children. In Genesis chapter 30 verse 1, Rachel says, Give me children or I die. And God did give her two children, Joseph and Benjamin, and then she died when she gave the second one. Be careful what you ask. But there was something interesting about Rachel. Rachel, although she was in love with Jacob and they're supposed to be worshipping Jehovah God, Rachel stole Laban's idols. Look at Genesis chapter 31 verse 19. And Laban went to share his sheep and Rachel had stolen the images that were her father's. So when Jacob is interceding to God and seeking God, his wife is interceding to idols. And when Abraham prayed for his wife Sarah, who was barren, and got a child. Isaac prayed for his wife Rebecca, who was barren, and she got a child. Joseph is praying, but Rachel is not getting a child. And these are the patriarchs. And why you can understand is that Rachel is worshipping idols. God hates idols. It's interesting that in church, we are seeking the Lord and others are worshipping other things. Ancestral things. Historical things. Oh, we are these rights, human rights. We are worshipping these. These are idols. May we, as we worship today, live all to the Lord. God hates idols. And he has said the first commandment, I am the Lord Jehovah your God. Thou shalt not have any other God but me. And he says you shall not make any image or bow to any image. And here is a woman of God who is busy worshipping idols. And the father Laban came after, jo after Jacob. And when he came, he said, Jacob said, I did not steal your gods. And Laban says, no, you did, because they are missing from my shrine. Then he was angry that somebody had stolen his gods. And he said, if I, if I have stolen, if any one of us has stolen, may I die? Not knowing that his wife. Do you know you could be in the same bed with somebody, but one is going to hell and one to heaven? His wife is doing other things. And so Laban searches the whole the whole tent, the whole camp. And when he comes to Rachel, Rachel was a sly, just like her husband. She sits on the idols and tells the daddy, Daddy, I cannot wake up because I'm in my season. Hiding the idols. See, 
What excuse do we give so that we can worship idols? So that we can continue worshiping things that God is telling us cast off. No wonder she couldn't get blessed. She even lied to her father. Instead of confessing and says, Daddy, it was not Jacob, the servant of the Lord that stole. It was me who stole your idols. Here, Daddy, get them. But she's stealing them for good luck or for whatever reason. Church, there are things in our customs and cultures that we hold on to that are not divine. They are idols. Don't you idolize a child or your spouse or anything the Lord has given you. It will come and go, but Jehovah remains forever. Amen. 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 <laughs> God tests each one of us with things we love or hold dear. I am driving a car now that I did not think I would be driving. And every time I get into it, it's a humbling experience. <laughs> Say amen. amen. Yesterday I went to the store and saw exact car as a scoffle. Same color, same everything. And I stopped and I said, Jehovah, my car. And did Jehovah say anything? God will test you. <laughs> Be careful. God will test you with that which you idolize. Amen. 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 And when I got it the last time, I was so happy. I was so happy, Elder Andy knows. I was happy. I was really happy. It didn't even finish a week. And it just developed hiccups. And said, I'm not going. And I was like, what? <laughs> and the Lord is still, until I learn my lesson, I'm not being graduated. May the Lord help us. Whatever you idolize in your life, you will be tried and tried until you say, Jesus, here it is. I surrender. Number two, mixed multitude. Say with me, mixed multitude. Be careful with people you interact with. I know no, none of us is an island. None of us was created to be alone. But be careful who your friends are and who your associates are and whom to whom you open your soul to and tie yourself with them. You might say you're counseling with them and so you are opening up, but my brother, my sister, be careful. Amen. 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 Be careful who likes to buy you chicken and yamachoma or shrimp. Be careful. <laughs> be very careful. You will be Entangled with things that you love. Amen. 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 Be careful who does your hair. You will go to a salonist who will mess with your anointing. Amen. Amen. It says here in Exodus chapter 12 verse 38. When Moses is bringing people out of slavery of Egypt and taking them to the promised land. So that they can go and worship God and tells Pharaoh, let my people go. The Bible says, and, um, verse 38, and a mixed multitude went up also with them and flocks and herds even very much cattle. Over 600,000 people left. They say that was like two point something million people counting men and women. But amongst the ones that left, they were not just the Jews, the people of God but even the Egyptians that had enslaved them. And these are the ones that will give them ideas to build a golden calf when Moses goes to meet with the Lord. Be careful. I don't care how much you say we are buddies. They are going to hell, you are going to heaven. Do not be equally yoked with them. Amen. They may be your brother and you say, my sister is my brother. Yeah, but when you come from them, you can't even cast a demon out. You party, you party with them, but they leave you dead. And I will explain this when we come to the light. 
that Satan was the angel of light. He was called the star of the morning. That was his name, Lucifer. He was in charge of worship. He was the light. He protected the light in the altar. And Satan knows he hates light because he knows light is Jesus Christ. He hates God. And he cannot come and take away and quench away your light. So what does he do? That light he hates and he can't fight it. So he comes and tests you and tempts you to withdraw your light so that your life becomes darkness. And when it's darkness, you are his because he's the king of darkness. Are we together? That's the trick he used with Adam and Eve. He never pinched the apple or the tree and gave it to Eve. It was Eve herself. The devil will tempt and entice you so that he can, you, he can switch off and kill your light. That's why Jesus is saying, put on the armor of light. Amen. Amen. Are we together? Yes. Amen. Mixed multitude. Don't mix. You can interact, but that's as far as it goes. Amen. Amen. When I visit your home, I don't go to your bedrooms. I stay in the living room. How come you take people to your bedrooms and pour your secrets and your heart and ideas like Joseph would share his dreams and his brother sold him? That's why you always retrogress because you're telling everybody what you're thinking and what you want. They're not praying for you. They're not celebrating you. They're pulling you down. They want your light down. They want your star to fall. King Hezekiah, when he got that 15 years, when God added him in 15 years, what did he do? He opened his palace and his home and let the Philistines come and see the world and how blessed he was. And the Lord spoke immediately and said, King Hezekiah, why did you do that? Whatever they saw, you are, they are going to come for it. And Hezekiah died a very poor death, like a dog. What are you showing people? Amen. 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 Mixed multitude. Oh, we are just going out. We are just going on a retreat. With who? With who, really? What? We are just having a party. With who? What party? You will end up. When the man of God is getting the law from God, you will end up worshipping an idol. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Do you know demons also tra they can be transferred just by participation? Mm -hmm. You participate. You are there. You come home with demons. We just went to a party and parents, listen to me. Where do you allow your children to go? Oh, they are going for a sleepover. Really? Do you know who they are sleeping with? Over what they are sleeping. Let them sleep in their beds at home. Buy them the best duvet and the best sleeping covers and everything. Let them sleep at home. And learn home is the best place to have a sleepover with the family. Period. Amen. 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 Okay. You allow them. Oh, they go to church together. Really? Jacob was sleeping with his wife, but his wife had stolen idols. You don't know what's going on. You do not know. And I rebuke you in Jesus' name. If you want God, you've been asking where, 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 and you're going by animals and pets. They're the first to be used by the enemy. Be careful what pets you're buying. You're now sharing your home and your anointing with pets. Be careful of those dogs and birds and, and cats and, and fishes. Amen. 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 We are not talking about demonology. We will down the years. The years goes by. Be careful in Jesus' name. Let them go. If they are taking the place of God, let them go. We come to your house. It is smelling poop instead of smelling anointing. <laughs> 
and you are busy changing poop. Is that what God has called you, really? <laughs> Hallelujah. Children, listen to me. It's not bad to have pets, but first, number one, before you get a pet, get Jesus. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Make friends with Jesus. We are trying to create a vacuum in the lives of our children, and that vacuum is God. And we try to fill it with things and toys and clothes and what and what of you and lavishing them with money because we never got the money so we want them to have this. But friends, let God be the vacuum solver in their lives. Amen, church. Amen. It is a shame for us when the children come and ask us when are we having home fellowship. It's a great shame. They have a vacuum that they know they need Jesus and they need a proper fellowship, but we are not giving them. But we have all the time for all the other goodies. God help us. Number three, mixed marriages. Say with me, mixed marriages. Look at Ezra chapter number nine, verse one to 15. Ezra <laughs> is bringing the people from exile back to the promised land. And then a report came, verse number one. Now when these things were done, the princes came to me saying, the people of Israel and the priests, the people of America and the priests, the pastors and the Levites, the people who helped the priests, the Levites, people who are supposed to be serving the ministers, like Jaime and Andy, have not separated themselves from the people of the lands, doing according to their abominations. Even the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, the Amorites, the Moabites, the Egyptians, and the Amorites. What is the complaint here? The complaint is that these people are intermarrying with the Canaanites and because of that, they are quenching the light. They are now worshipping other gods. For they have taken off their daughters for themselves and for their sons so that the holy seed have mingled themselves with the people of those lands. Be careful who you come, who you become coined, 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 joined with. Amen? Amen. 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 Mixed marriages. Mixed, I don't mean ratio. I don't mean trans ratio. I mean devil and God. What did what killed Samson? He went and saw a girl, and the father he came and told his daddy, 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 I've seen a girl. Where? In Philistine. And the father asked him, Aren't there any pretty girls in Israel? And Samson said, told his father, She pleases me well. And yet God has said, do not marry them because when you do, they will remove you from the love of God. What killed Solomon? He was the wisest man, but he went marrying people and other people and making these women's gods, including the queen of Sheba. And Solomon died a useless fellow. Church, Ezra asked all these people who had intermarried to send away all these women away to purify the nation church amen amen amen, amen. so the next time you say she pleases me well or he pleases me well could it be a trap just to entice you because it's like this guy who married this girl and and um the girl was so happy and, and she says, he walked good, he talked good, he did good, he did everything good, but he was only wooing her. This time they are crossing over the bridge and the guy jumps over and doesn't even care about the girl before he would duck himself in the water and make and be the bridge. But this time he tells, tells the girl, honey, will you make it? Now it's honey, will you make it? Before it was, let me hold your hand. Let me cross you over. Be careful. If the answer is she pleases you well, you are in real danger. Amen. 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 And Delilah killed Samson because it wasn't to be. Number four. When God says don't do something, please don't. 
even if it looks good. There are sometimes I've wanted to go someplace and God says, don't. You, your body will react. But if God doesn't want you there, don't take yourself there. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. You better be bored and sleep, but put worship music, you will be okay after a few minutes. <laughs> really? Have you realized that when you don't when when you don't need ice cream, it's in the freezer or in the fridge and it's just there, I dine there. The day you don't have ice cream, yes, that's <laughs> your body will act and react. <laughs> You can even complain, what's going on in this house? There's no food. Just because of that ice cream. Wow. Be careful. Achan, Joshua chapter 7, verse, verse 1. God had told them, I'm giving you Jericho. In chapter 6, I'm giving you Jericho. But don't take anything in that Jericho. Jericho will be my possession. It's like, this is mine. Everything in Jericho is mine. Joshua chapter 7 verse 1. But the children of Israel committed. Notice he says the children of Israel. Yet it was one person. Yeah. The children, the sin of one person was transmitted to the whole nation. Do you know we could be going down just because of the sin of one of us? Wow. God made Israel. To lose the battle with Ai, which was a small village, a small town. And yet, they had just conquered the superpower, Jericho. But, and God says, verse 1, But the children of Israel committed a trespass in their cursed thing. For Achan, the son of Carmi, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, took their cursed thing. And notice how scripture even mentions the root of this person, Judah. This is a person of praise. This is the one who comes from the holy lineage where the king will come. Judah means praise. Verse 2. And the anger of the Lord was killed against the children of Israel. And what did he do? They lost the battle. They were beaten like chicken. They were beaten by Ai. And Joshua is busy crying to God and slipping down prostrate and crying to God. God, why are you doing this? And said, what are and God came and told him, what are you doing? Slipping down and crying to me, yet you have sinned against me. And Joshua was perplexed. How have I sinned? Who has sinned? And they had, the spirit had to single out. They were all Lord to, to line up in tribes. And they were singled out and singled out until they came to Achan. And Joshua tells Achan, tell me, what have you done? And do not lie to me. Mm. He said, I took the gold. I took the robe. I took the wealth. Why are you amassing things when the Lord has not told you to do that? You're sinning against the Lord. What is it that you're seeing in this America? In this world. That you are so busy amassing. May the Lord help us. May the Lord help us. Jimmy Carter was one of the most useless presidents America has ever had. I know maybe I'll offend some of you by saying that because he was a Democrat. But Jimmy Carter was even a one-term president. He never even went to. He was so useless. His ratings were so down. Nobody wanted him anymore. And when he left the White House, guess what Carter did? He came back to his senses. He wasn't evil, but he was just useless. He couldn't make the right decisions. He was scared. I don't know whatever was going through him. After he left the presidency, Jimmy Carter came with the idea of Habitat for Humanity. And today, Jimmy Carter is known more for the houses he has built all over America and the homes he has given people than when he was a president. And everybody, now he's going to die. He's, he's going, we are just waiting for him to die. When he dies, everybody will celebrate him because through his organization, Habitat for Humanity, he has done a lot all across the world. Church, I want to say this. What are you trying to amass? Yet God has called you for something that doesn't look like anything. Dorcas had a ministry of mending people, old people's clothes. 
And when she died, nobody would bury her. And they all had faith, called Peter to come and resurrect her. She's not dying. And Peter, who had a racial heart, he didn't want to go to the Samaritans and to the Gentiles. He had to go right now to this Samaritan village and rescue and resurrect this lady. Your ministry is sacred. Amen. Don't take what the Lord has told you not to take. Uh, let, me, uh, let me bring another one, the fifth one, in terms of wealth. And this is looting from the Lord's treasury. How many of us steal from the Lord? How many of us steal from the Lord? How many? How many of us try to cut deals with God? I know I have tried. But it doesn't help. Lot tried to cut a deal with God. He was told to go to the mountains with his family. What did Lot do? He said, oh no, let me not go to the mountains. It's a far off. Uh, let me go to this other hill down here. It's also a hill. It's not really a mountain, but I can go there, the mountain or city of Zoar, not knowing that even that city was going to be destroyed. And when he tried to strike a deal with God, what happened? He lost his wife who became a pillar of salt, right? And what was she looking back anyway for? What has she hid? Has she had, did she have some idols back there? Was she the one who was telling Lot, tell your uncle Abraham you need all your money? What was she looking for? She became a pillar. So that's a message for another day. But what happened to Lot in that city of Zoar? The daughters made him drunk. They said, oh, we will not get children. They are faithless. We left our boyfriends in Sodom. They died. So we are not going to get any children. So they made their father drunk and the eldest goes with their father and conceives. And then the next time they make the father go drunk and he doesn't know and he conceives another child. Don't try to make deals with God. You will end up in a mess. Look at Abraham and Sarah. They tried to cut a deal. They said, God has told us to give, give us a child. For 25 years, they waited. They got impatient. What did they do? They said, oh, maybe God, maybe God meant that you take Hagar and in a custom, she's still, you know, under me. And so it's like my child. No, you don't need an explanation to, to give. God said it. Go wash in the pool of Siloam. Just go. Amen. Ananias and Sapphira, verse 5, chapter 5, Acts chapter 5, verse 1 and 3. But a certain man named Ananias with Sapphira, his wife, sold a possession and kept back part of the price. Whatever they got, they had said they're going to give it to God, but they keep it. How many of us have told God, when you bless me, I will do this. And then when it's time to pray, say, God, maybe I should do it in installments. How many have done it like me? God, let me do this. Oh, Lord, um, you know, God, right now, there are so many things. Even so and so has died and they are also doing this. The family is also doing this. This money that this thousand dollars was supposed to give to you, oh God, let me first pay for this funeral and also go for this party and also do this. And then God, I will sort you out later. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Forgive me, Lord, for I have sinned. Ananias and Sapphira. And what did Peter say? But Peter said to Ananias, Why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and to keep back part of the price of the land? 